Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will start a new series that is Chrome extension development series. So, why should you learn how to build a Chrome extension? Well, it's useful to make a small utilities. It's useful to make uh, things for everyday life. I'll give you a very simple example that I built for myself. So, I have this extension that I built which blocks YouTube. I got really addicted to YouTube at some point and I wanted to block YouTube. So, whenever I block uh, open YouTube, this extension that I very small extension that I wrote just blocks and displays a message no, I'm not allowed to view it. And I can customize it according to my according to my use case. I can customize it to work on weekends, I can customize it to allow me only two hours of YouTube and etc. etc. So it's it's all customizable, it's all very useful in a lot of lot of ways. It extends browser functionalities. Another uh, extension I built for myself is one which reminds me to drink water every 30 minutes so you can maybe increase the font size of a page you can change the images you can convert the page into dark mode all these things you can extend browser functionality using chrome extension and it's fun to make making a small software pieces are fun you can get something done very quickly a very quick win and it's always good to have those prerequisites you should know html CSS, and javascript very well a little knowledge of jQuery would be great. If you aren't comfortable with jQuery, it should not be a problem. I will explain everything along the way, so nothing to be worried about. We will also use React at some point, but just only to showcase how to use React to build a Chrome extension. We will not use React extensively in this course. What can you do with an extension? You can have a new item in the right click menu. Let's say you want to search meaning of a word from a dictionary, or let's say you want to save a link to your clipboard or those kind of things you can have a new item in the right click you can change the new tab page right now if i open a new tab it shows me chrome default page but you can change it to whatever you want you can change all the pictures of a particular page you can replace some web page with no internet page so it can be a good fun prank to play with your friends you can have an extension which replaces whatever page you open with a no internet page you can develop some really cool apps uh, it's only limited by your imagination, nothing, uh, nothing else. So, uh, I would love to see you guys build new things. We will cover numerous, uh, numerous new applications and a little bit of, little bit of scripts here and there to do a lot of different tasks in this course. But uh, it's much, much more than that. You can do anything you can think of. What we learn? We learn what project actions are. We'll learn what page actions are. We'll learn what content scripts are notifications how to show notifications in your browser how to, to sync data across chrome sign in so if you can if you sign in your chrome it saves a lot of data for you and you can use that to persist data across browsers across your laptops or systems we'll look at context menus the right click menus we'll look at page overrides how to change pages like bookmark page or history page maybe you can override your history page so that no one can peek into your history we'll look at omnibox omnibox is something that uh, is provided in your URL bar. So let's say if I type here YouTube and then if I tab tab, it gives me a search prompt. This is your Omnibox feature. We'll look at how to build Omnibox and then I guess page of is double here. So we already covered that. So across the course, if you want to get some help, you can always comment down on my YouTube videos in the YouTube channel link is given. You can reach out to me on Twitter and the code repo is linked here. I will leave the link to this presentation in the description below so that you can access these and also link the re relevant links in the description so that you can just access those without really getting into the presentation. So this is it for this one guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one where we will start with our very first Hello World extension. Thank you, stay tuned and I'll see you around.